Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kat. <laughs> so I just got finished uh, redoing my hair, got it re dyed. So my color is nice and bright and vibrant again. This is uh, my natural hair. It's big and huge. <laughs> I have a lot of hair, oh my god. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with it all. It's a lot. But it's thin. It just looks like a lot. I'll show you how it looks when it's in a ponytail. My hair is very, 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 very thin. When it's in a ponytail, it's only like that big. It's just vibrant. I have, I have good hair. If I have to say one nice thing about myself, it would be that I got damn nice hair. <laughs> I know that um, in my past I have struggled to find nice compliments to say about myself and one nice thing I can actually say is that I have damn fine hair. Even like I have an eating disorder and I've been trying to find out what's wrong with me if I've got like an autoimmune disorder. I think that all of my nutrients go to my head. It all goes up here to my head. <laughs> I just did uh, a story on Instagram about blow drying my hair. And before I blow dried it, it was like out to here. It was just like, it was massive, massive. I have big hair. I have good hair. Like, it's very um, versatile. Like, look at the volume that this hair can get. And if I just put it into a clip, it would stay like that. <laughs> like, I've got the kind of hair that women would pay lots of dineros to have. And you wouldn't think, because I dye it all the time, but I'll show you the dye that I use. I'm just gonna get up and get it. So these are, oh my good lord. <laughs> Let's see if I can. I'm a lizard. Okay, there's my crown. A lot of a lot of girls have to use a halo to get this kind of volume. Like my head is here, my hair is up here. That's a good four inches of volume on my, on the top of my head, and it's all that's all my own hair, baby. I want it to grow along. I want it to be like to the bottom of my rib cage. It used to be before. This is the kind of dye I use. I use Manic Panic in the color <clears throat> Green Envy. I tone it down with uh, with a pastelizer pastelizer that I have from Colorista, and then. I use this kind of fuchsia. It varies between fuchsia shock. There's two kinds of fuchsia that I use. This one here is Pink Warrior. But I find this one like 
too pink almost. So I tone it down with the with the fuchsia shock. And it looks like that. And it turns into like this like pinky purpley color. You can see a little bit here on my hand where it went through my glove when I was washing it out. And this stuff is all vegan. So unlike other dyes, you can only leave them in for like a certain amount of time. In order for me to get maximum color and length on my hair, like durability, I want the color to last a long time. I tend to leave the dye in overnight. <laughs> I usually wrap my head after the dye is in with like a saran wrap. And then I put like a cap over top of it. And then leave it in overnight. And then when I wake up in the morning, I I usually rinse it out and then that gives me like maximum color and then it lasts for like I think the last time I dyed my hair was in the summertime so it lasts for quite a bit longer than what it would if it wasn't overnight so yeah I, that's what I like to do I find that that gives me the best best bang for my buck. <laughs> I do all my own hairstyling, cutting, dyeing, all that stuff. So let me know what you think about my hair. If you like the two-tone hair, I was trying to get rid of these annoying grays that seem to want to creep in. I think I did not too bad of a job. There's probably a few left there, but the ones that uh, grow in that I can't get out. I just pluck them out. I spent a lot of time plucking out gray hair. <laughs> Long live your youth, I guess. So that's, I wanted to come on here, show you guys my nice hair. I'm probably going to straighten it now. I straighten it with a, like a, a barrel curling iron, so like one of the, one of the bigger curling irons. And unlike everybody else, I don't wash my hair very often, maybe once every three weeks, if my hair is lucky. And uh, that works to get my hair to grow faster because I have a theory that dirty hair grows faster. and. Um, I think I'm proving my theory to be right because April 2019, April 19, yeah, I had my, I cut my hair off myself like I was going to shave it with the, with the shaver, like zzz, one of those shavers, but it was so dull. I had my hair all in these like little pigtails like this all over my head and I was just gonna like cut the pigtail off you know but my razor didn't work so I had to use this pair of scissors so I just cut off every single ponytail and uh, let me see if I have that so this is what my hair looked like before I cut it get ready to be surprised This was the color, this was my hair before I cut it off. Can you imagine me with this color of hair? My hair was blonde, like this blonde, before I cut it off. It's still very nice and soft. That's why I could use it for a bird's nest. <laughs> Can you imagine me with, with blonde hair? This would be my skin tone. It just, I liked it, but I didn't like it. 
I don't know. And it, when I cut it, it was like almost probably about the same length that it was now. So within three years, my hair has grown back fully in three years. That's a, a lot of length to grow in three years. And like I cut it to here. I looked like a freaking crazy person. My hair, like, I was like, oh, what did I do? I looked like my mom who's bipolar. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, what have I done? What the frick have I done? But thankfully it's grown back now. I have given myself bangs a couple of times. You know, I sometimes wish that, that it was all still the same length as, I wish that this was the same length as this, but whatever. It's just hair, it comes and goes, right? So let me know what you think of my hair. And uh, if you would take a shampoo hiatus to get your hair to grow back faster. I know that the shampoo companies don't agree with me when I say that dirty hair grows faster, but when you let your scalp marinate in its own juices, it tends to have the hair grow back faster. A hairdresser will not tell you that. A shampoo company will not tell you that either. Because if you don't wash your hair, they're losing their business, right? Just like vaping doesn't get you to stop smoking, but it does. So, you know, you can't let, you can't let the big guys win. So let me know if you would quit washing your hair for the sake of beauty. And I don't know, my hair is not dirty. So and when I say dirty hair grows faster, I don't mean like sweaty, disgusting, pissed on hair. You know, if it's hair, if it's dirty, I will wash it. But if I can go without, I'll just let it marinate. And uh, I'm single, so I don't have anybody to impress anyways. So I'm thankful that I have nice, sexy, long hair again. It's not long, it's mid-length, but it's long to me considering it was like to my scalp before. So let me know everything down there, how your day is going, all that stuff. Don't mind my neck. I've lost a lot of weight recently and it's just, my skin is just hanging on me. Like I said, I'm trying to figure out why I'm not feeling good. So ignore that and just look at my hair. <laughs> Love you guys. And I will see you in my next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Even if you're my one hater who hates all of my videos and makes fake escort accounts for me, you can subscribe too. But you know what? Send this video to your hater. And hopefully that's two minutes of their life that they'll never get back. Or perhaps they will like me and subscribe to my shenanigans. Love you guys. And I'll see ya. See you soon. Bye.